What's happening, Frag friends? Max again with another review. This time around, we're going to be covering a brand new release from the house of Raja Parfums. And this is for you, the ones that truly enjoy this channel, the content that it brings, and the positivity that it pours into the Fragcom. Because here we have no time or tolerance for destructive behavior or negativity. Enjoy the show. Roma music. So the newest release we're covering today from the house of Roger Parfums is Elysium Pour Homme. So I've been wearing this fragrance for about a week and a half, two weeks now, and all I can tell you is that it's very beautiful, citrus, uh, bright, dynamic, and very inviting opening with this fragrance. When you first spray it, you can really feel um, all these citrus, bright, fruity components. It is an oriental fougere, but you're not going to really get the fougere uh, profile until you get to the second hour of the fragrance and that vanilla, the lavender, and the leather nuances will start to come through. It also has red pepper that really opens up this fragrance and you have this beautiful vetiver, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of vetiver fragrances. It has this really transparent fruity vetiver that comes to play as the fragrance dries down, which is also extremely inviting. Many people have compared this fragrance on fragrance forums, on fragrance Facebook groups, to fragrances like Blue de Chanel, Sauvage from Dior, and Aventus. Out of the three fragrances they compare this to, I see the most resemblances with Creed Aventus. This definitely has the introduction and opening that's closest to the Aventus comparison, I do get that, but this develops into something way more. So I would say if you love those fragrances I talked about, but you want something that has a little more and develops into something different, so it's not going to be redundant to have this fragrance and the other ones we talked about, because this fragrance does its own thing. So Elysium comes in two main sizes. You can get the 1.7 to 50 ml, just like the one I've been showing you here in this video, which is the Extract de Parfum. It's supposed to be more concentrated and give you better performance. And you also have Oh, by the way, this one retails for $485, or you can get the Parfum Cologne Concentration, which is right here, the blue bottle with the gold cap, which is supposedly less concentrated. I haven't tried the blue bottle, the 100 mil one, so I could not attach to its performance, but I can tell you that this performs really, really nice. I get six to eight hours longevity. I get one and a half to two hours strong push of uh, projection with this fragrance, and I get an amazing sillage, so I get a day's work plus, which I can't complain. If, I, if a fragrance, in fact, if a fragrance gives me that, this is what I'm looking for. Anything above six hours, good to go. On scent alone, if you compare this to all the fragrances I talked about, especially Aventus, you might like this one a little bit better, again, because it has that Raja Dove quality that you can sense from introduction. It's really well balanced. You can, you can really attest to the quality of the ingredients that goes into this fragrance. And like I said, performance is quite good. Scent on scent alone, apples to apples. I think that a lot of people will actually like this fragrance over Aventus and the other two fragrances, Blue de Chanel or Sauvage from Dior. I do like this fragrance and I think it's definitely worth you checking out. This one could easily become a great signature scent. If you were looking for something, if you really loved the house of Roja Dove, but couldn't find something that you really loved because some of his fragrances have a little bit of the old school or traditional classic feel to them, like reckless fetish, so forth and so on. You don't like the animalic undertones, you don't like the real leather funky, uh, kind of strong or dark smoky effect that you get with a lot of those fragrances. Perhaps this is the one you're looking for. A perfect signature scent, just like Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, or Aventus. All those could be year-round fragrances, and so could this one. Now the great thing about this fragrance is that you can go trigger happy with it, you can, you can do four, five, six sprays, you're not going to offend anyone. On. This is one of those fragrances that has that mass appeal, that universal acceptance. You can wear it anytime, anywhere, with any occasion, dress up or dress down, and you're going to smell like a million bucks. I think 25 and up would be the perfect range for people to wear this fragrance to really appreciate the scent. I do think it's more on the masculine side of the spectrum. But again, ladies, you can wear that if you feel like this is something you enjoy. If you enjoy the fragrance I mentioned before, if it's in that kind of genre, you will definitely like to wear this one as well. Final thoughts on this one. Again, a very pleasing, mass appealing, great release from the house of Roger Dove. And I would dare say that from all the releases from Roger Dove parfums, especially for men, I think this one has the easiest um, character. If you're looking for something from Roger parfums that you can wear anytime, anywhere, this one would definitely take the cake out of all the different releases and anything that I've tried from Roger Dove parfums up to this point. This fragrance has all the appointments of a great scent. It smells great, it performs great. If you guys are looking for great fragrances, this is definitely one you should check out. I do love it and I think you will too. 
So have you tried Elysium? What are your favorite top three fragrances from the House of Roja Parfums? Please drop your comment below. Let's start a little conversation. I appreciate all your support through all these years. It means a lot to me. Keep tuned in. There's going to be a lot of great content and news coming your way for the remainder of this year and for next year. If you like this channel and you enjoy fragrance reviews like this one, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.